our great great granddad G. W. Mabry um, um, was one of the founders of in, uh, the bank in, mm-hmm. in 1906, roughly. Although the bank wasn't chartered until 1933, but actually was formed in, um, before statehood, and then. Our great granddad um, ultimately became a, a teller and assistant cashier, and, and then was on the board, and that was Carlisle Mabry Senior. Um, and then um, he um, owned ten percent of it, and then at his death, our our, our granddad Carlisle Mabry Junior inherited that ten percent, and ultimately got a loan to buy out um, a lot of the partners um, in the bank in the late '60s. And so he had a controlling interest from, from the late '60s. Uh, I think owned seventy percent of it at that point in time, and and. Uh, the story my dad tells is my dad's the oldest of four. Um, he's Carlisle the third, um, and um, is that um, that his dad um, called uh, my dad and, and my dad's next brother Bruce and basically said, "Hey, you know uh, this bank's kind of stressing me out." And and uh, my granddad didn't do well with stress. He uh, was a navigator in World War II, B seventeen bombers, and didn't deal with people very well and stuff. And so I'm going to, I'm going to sell the bank. He's barely keeping the interest current on the note. And yeah, dad used to say that, I mean, he was, di- it would be difficult to work. Yeah. To work, work for, for, yeah. Hard, hard yeah. for him to keep some good people mm-hmm. to yeah. help him. Yeah. Kind of a taskmaster and, you know, and demanded a lot as you might expect, you know, a military guy would. And, and um, so my dad and Bruce said, Hey, you know, to their dad, dad, don't, don't, don't sell the bank and, and, um, yeah, we'll come back and, and help you run it. Mm-hmm. And so they both came back about six months apart in, in 1972 and, um, have, have been there ever since. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And my dad was a JAG officer at the time in the air force and stationed at Edwards air force base. Okay. And did some research and was able to kind of, there was a hardship kind of to save the family That's right. business. And so he was, had that opportunity to use that and, was out of the Air Force and then yeah. went back to yeah that's help help run the bank. That's really cool. And I mean, we we were chatting before you guys showed up. Like family business can be really great, but also can be a major pain in the ass. Because <laughs> yeah, 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 right? yeah. you guys got to go to Thanksgiving or you've got to go to family birthdays, but you also see each other at work, and it's like, you know, I'm sure there's been some times we just like. I, I, I know it's your kid's birthday, but I need space. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, we yeah, we do a good job of being able to, you know, get along and, and leave work on the side, but certainly have our moments for sure and, yeah. you know, frustrations. And, you know, he's, Carl's a little bit more of a, you know, hotter temper and, you know, those times we run kind of hot right? times, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, and um, I tend to be a, a little more controlled in that respect. But um, it's funny, one funny story on, on just family business and, 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 and my dad and my granddad is my dad tells the story that, my granddad agreed to pay him. I think it was maybe you know fifteen thousand dollars went to come back and work at the bank, and and um, so he gets there on the first day of work, and and my granddad calls my dad in the office, and he says, uh, "Son, he's like, I couldn't tell the board I was going to pay you fifteen thousand dollars, so I'm actually going to pay you thirteen thousand dollars." So my dad says, "You know, I got a two thousand dollar pay cut, you know, the, the first day at work, but you couldn't do that if you weren't a family business, you know. If, if right. my dad was not my, my granddad's son, you know, you probably couldn't have taken another." team member or employee and, and told them you're going to pay them less than what you agreed to. So Yeah, yeah. 